Today we're going to show you how to explore numbers with all kinds of manipulatives. Sensory and hands-on activities really help your child relate and give them a number sense. Number sense is the ability to connect, understand, and relate to numbers. These activities are so simple. You already have so many objects around your house, you can use anything. The sky's the limit for these activities. A variety of colorful manipulatives or other household objects like small toys, beads, pom-poms, or even fun foods like gummies, number magnets or other numbered manipulatives like dominoes, printable 10 frame or other printables, markers, dice. The first activity we did was taking a number line and getting my children to relate to the numbers by placing the manipulatives on the number line. We are going to do some fun things with numbers today. So see this long number line right here? It's to nine. To nine. That's what I was going to ask you. What is a go-to? So see all these fun objects that we have in front of us? Yeah. I want you to match and work together, okay? How many items it is with the number. So like if you see a number one, how many items are you going to put on that number? One. One. You're one. right. Yeah. And we're gonna go all the way to number nine. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. I have okay. one. Oh, good job. So Rachel and Benjamin, you can choose a number to start with. We have to, we have to do the ones on there. You can use any of the objects you want and put that many items on top well, of the I'm numbers. I'm gonna do five. Ooh. five. How many do you need for six. that? Six. Six. One, two. You might just stack them. Three. One, two, three. And one, eight. two, three. You can make two piles if you need to. Six, seven, yes. five, more uh -oh. like I let my children choose what items they wanted to put on the number line. And then I asked them questions like, is that bigger or smaller? More or less than? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Asking a child those questions gets their mind really thinking about it and connecting seeing an item to what they see in their head as well. So we have eight objects and then on the number eight and nine on the number nine. Which one has more? Nine. 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 Does it look like there are more? One, no. Two. The next activity we did was counting by twos. I let my children take wooden coins and stack them up in pairs of twos. Then I asked them, how many sets of two do you see? This is a great way for a child to learn subitizing, and that is simply that when they look at a group of objects, they instantly know what number it is. We're gonna do something new. We are going to learn to count by twos. Wow. So I need you to take two out of there, Silas. Do two. Yep, put those down there. Now Benjamin, put two on top of his. There you go. Rachel, your turn. Add yours. How many groups of two do we have? Five. Five groups? How do you know that? Count them for me. One, two, three, four, five. Good. We've learned to count by twos as well. Can you repeat after me? Two, two four, four, six, six eight, ten. ten. Good well, job. Ten. Little Silas really surprised me when not only could he count how many groups of two there were, he could also count how many groups of five there were. So you really saw that he made that connection in his brain. Five, ten. The next activity we did was working with number bonds. This is a great way for children to really visualize how many items equal another number. All right, guys, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna take a number and we are gonna break it up into two parts. We need to create one number and then we are gonna learn how to break it up into two groups. All right, what number should we put here? Four. Okay, can you write a four? Down, cross, up, down. Wow, good number work, buddy. Really impressive. Okay, so Benjamin has a five. Rachel has, what number is that down there? Eight. An eight. That's right, an eight. So. Wait, I think I know. We are we're gonna. Doing three and one. How do you know that? But we're not gonna use our markers. We're gonna use things. I know. Oh, I have something yeah. yummy for you to I use. Know. It is something so delicious. It's over here. Gummies! Using number bonds is a great way to ask a child things like, are two plus three and three plus two the same? They can see it and visualize it and know that they are indeed the same thing. 
So Rachel did her eight with two groups of four. Is there another way you can make eight? Well, how else can you make five and three? Five and three. Let me see that. Okay. Silas, how else can we make four? Now divide it differently. That's right. Put it all in the number four. Now. And then one more makes five. Oh, you're right. But if I have two here, how many do I need to put there to make four? Good job. You did it. I did the now, puzzle Now, time for your sweet reward. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> The next thing we did is we played a game called Roll a Number. This was a lot of fun for my kids. They took a dice, got to roll it, and then put the number in the ones place and in the tens place. All right, guys, we are going to play a game. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay, we're gonna take, each of you have a die. We are going to roll it. At first, I need you to pick out a color to write with. So everybody, roll, go ahead and roll your die. I got a one. see what number. So put it in the, in the ones place. Now roll the dice again and see what you get. Mean I got guys. two. I got a six. <laughs> six. I got Put a it in the tens place. Put what number it is in the blanks. I got a 61. Then write it again. Sil got Rachel got a 61. I got Silas, you got a 65. So guess what? You won. You, you won that round, because it's the biggest. Can you circle your number 65? Like Next, we turned it into a fun game, where whoever got the biggest number won that round, and they circled their numbers. At the end, we added up and saw who the winner was. Who? can get the most of the biggest numbers, okay? The most? All right, yes, we're gonna do the whole page. Ready? Roll your dice again. Put one, it in one's one. place, right here. Put a one right there. One, Good. And Good, then put a four oh, right here. I did I did that. That. Now slow down, we're gonna see who won that second round. I got you ready? Four. 14. What number did you get, Rachel? One, four. 14, she Benjamin got 12, Silas got 41, you so won again. again. Can you circle oh your God. number 41? Good. Okay, guys, we're gonna do it again. So you got 44, Benjamin got 51, Rich got 24. Who's the biggest? Me. Benjamin won. Good job, brother. Okay, now count all your circles. This is just counted as one, two, two. One, two, three, four. He has three that he won on. So Rachel, how many do you have? One, two, six. Okay. I got four. I have four. I have four. Rachel is the winner. Good job. Good job, Rachel. Good job. <laughs> Lastly, we did a game that dealt with the concept of a 10 frame. This helps children really start thinking about numbers in base 10. So these are called 10 frames. Do you see that there are 10 rectangles, Silas, see up here? And that's why you have the number 10 written here. How many beads do you have there? Four. Four, so we put a number four. How many more beads do we need to make 10? One. There you go. Two. Three, four, Good. five, six. Good. So you needed six one. more. Can you find the number six in here for Mama? You see a number six? They're all six. Good. Can you put that in the blank for me? So Rachel and Benjamin, see how many you have at the top. I have one, one I have three, 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 four, five. Now add your uh, items, fill in the blank, and see how many you need. And then I'm you can fill that in. Good, Benjamin. Well, let's see if we did it all, guys. Today's activities were a lot of fun for my kids because they got to do a lot of hands-on activities. They took manipulatives, got to connect them to numbers, and really solidly make that foundation and connect numbers. These activities were great for Rachel and Benjamin because they've learned a lot about addition and subtraction, but they got to really apply the knowledge that they've already learned. 85, 90, 90 95, 100! 100. Today's activity is called Exploding Numbers. We're using simple things like stickers, paint, and other manipulatives to teach your child early math concepts. Manipulatives are simply something that children can use with their hands. It really builds those fine motor skills and allows them to really bring the mind and the body together. I'm gonna show you how to make this a fun, simple math activity for your children. Silas, today we're gonna to do something called exploding numbers. We're gonna use paint. We're gonna use pom poms. Are you ready? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited too. This is a really simple craft that you probably already have all the materials on hand for. We get to do numbers. You like numbers, don't you? Wait, what? zero? Yeah. 
one, two, three again? You're right! Zero, one, two, and three. This is how we created our exploding numbers. First, we took a piece of paper and we just printed out some numbers on it. I cut them out so that Silas could attach them to a page. All right, so take your glue. I know. Oh, you know, huh? You're so smart. All right, put the glue all over that. Stick it anywhere you want on the page. You can add something like stickers. Simply ask them how many dots go along with each number. Now we're gonna put stickers. Stickles by the number. That's right, you need how many right here? One. And then? Lots of boys. Right here. Two. There you go. Okay. Now six. Six, what, what color do you want for six? This craft is a really great way to teach number sequencing as children get to recognize numbers and also how they flow in order. It also teaches subitizing, which is the recognition of looking at numbers in a set. So when they look at three stickers, they recognize immediately that there's three there. How many bright pinks do you have? Four. Let's count them. Four. Right, three. And how Four. many purples? Boy. So how many purple and pink all together are there? How many do you have? Can I count all of them? Let's count just the pink and purple, and then you can count all of them if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're right, six. And then this is where your little one can really get their creative juices flowing. Put some paint simply on a plate for them, and then they can go to town. They can smear, they can blot, whatever they want to do to create their exploding numbers. Okay, you can paint and you can either dab it on or you can make streaks, whatever, you can experiment and do what you want. See on the outside, they painted all around the outside of the number. And if you paint the dot too, the dot will show up too. Ooh, I like that, Silas. What color do you want to add to it? I need a couple. Hmm. I can use... mix them. You can mix it if you want. You can experiment. Just like they had orange and yellow. There you go. Ooh, I like that, Silas. Very creative. Why? Oh, yeah. Can I do number six? Wait, can I make some more? Sure. They could even use these pom-poms if they wanted to, to paint with. Then, you simply peel off the numbers. Go from this side. Okay. And you have a beautiful piece of artwork. Look at your exploding numbers! Do ah. you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Silas, you could see the little light bulbs going off in his head as he looked at the stickers and could count all the objects. Or when he saw the colors in the paint, he would go around and say, this color is this, and this is this color. Blue, mm -hmm. blue, what is that? Hmm, what does it look Wait, like to you? yellow and orange mix. It does look like a mix. He also started adding all the things together on the plate. He really had a lot of fun doing it. You can also take some pom-poms, which are really fun. Fun for little fingers to hold these and use those little fine motor skills. Have them put on the page, corresponding with each number. This is also a great way to teach your little one how to do some simple addition. See your squishy pom-poms over here? Yeah. Okay, how many pom-poms equal the number zero? Would you use any pom-poms? No, zero. Because it's nothing, right? Okay, so how many do we need for this number? One! All right, find a pom-pom. Oranges! Are you going to use orange? How many do you have? Two. Two. And what number are you going to put them by? Two. Two. Good job. Ooh, very creative on each side of the number. Using manipulatives is a great way for children to connect the brain to the body. It's something that they can visualize so that they don't have to just think in their head about what you're speaking about, but they can actually see it as well. You can count it if Twelve. you want. Thank you got it in my head. <laughs> Silas obviously had so much fun doing this activity. He especially loved painting as he got to choose what colors he got to paint on the numbers. So grab some paint, paper, and have fun with your child exploring numbers. Yay, look, look here, Silas. Cheese! Today we're going to be using ABC floor mats to play and of course practice and build reading skills. This is another way for you to engage your kids and encourage them to stretch their minds and bodies and learn. There's so many different ways to use these floor mats. I'm going to show you a few right now. So let's get started. First activity we did with the mats was called ABC Roadway. We 
took the letters, we made a little road, and then we put a truck on that road. Inside the truck, we had a few different letters. With those letters, we pull those out, and then we drive the truck to the matching letter. What we gotta do is pull out a letter. So the letter N. So Lenny, we're gonna drive to the letter N. Show it to us so we'll see what it looks like. Lenny, you see the letter? All right, keep it on the road, keep it on the road. And you're gonna pull it over there and you're gonna stop when you see the letter M. There you go. All right, good job. Stop right there, that's the letter M. Good job. You got the card. H. F. Yeah. There's, a way. There's an H over here. Look, it's back over here at the beginning. What? That's where the truck started. <laughs> e. All right, so drive around, find, it, find the letter E. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, it's the E, look, it's E. <laughs> it's out. It's another O! Alright! Another O? Make another O. Yeah. Sweet. If you're having fun making O's, you keep making O's. For Lennon, it was more about letter recognition and celebrating the fact that, you know, she had hit the right letter. But for Isla, even when she drove the truck, once she got there, we really wanted to challenge her to come up with a word that began with the same letter that she had landed on. F is for four! <laughs> That's outside! <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> the next activity we did was called ABC Twister. We spread out all the letters and let the girls really get active with this one. We call out a letter and they would place whatever hand or foot or body part they wanted to on the letter. Then we'd call out another letter and then that's where they really had an opportunity to stretch and we encouraged them to do so. That was a great way to engage their minds and their bodies and have a little fun. Okay, guess what? I have this deck of letters here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this deck of letters, I'm going to call them out, and then I want you guys to go and find them, okay? You guys ready? Let's start out with the letter B. The letter B, go find it. Alright? Now. B! Alright, okay, great. H. Ooh. You guys know the letter H? See, so you're receiving a reach with your foot, Isla. <laughs> nice! There you go. There you go. Alright, there you go. That's pretty good. G. You only have. Oh, look at these all. Need all pink. Oh man, you just need a little more leg and a little Wait, more. Wait, no, 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 no. What? Leg. Oh wow, wow. Well, almost. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. It's pretty good. The letter B for boy. You're a boy. I am a boy. Another activity we did with the mats was to create an ABC hopscotch. Essentially, we brought the letters together and we put them in the shape of a hopscotch court. Then, we gave them some bean bags, let them throw those out on whatever letter they chose. They call out the letter and then they hop right to it. So, Isla, you go ahead and give it a toss first and try to get one of those down there. Go on further ones. And when you guys, when it lands, when the bean bag lands, make sure you guys shout out the letter, okay? Let's give it a toss. All right, when it lands you're supposed to go to the queue. <laughs> see, see what you land on. Toss the red one, see what you land on. All right, so the C. You land on the C. Okay, so hop to it. See if you can hop, hop to the to the C. <laughs> on the C. All right, grab the bag and bring it back. Grab the bag and bring it back. Okay, my turn. All right, there you go. We can show you how to make those bean bags too. Check out the links below. Another activity we came up with was called ABC Dice. We took one die, made it out of vowels, we took the other two dice and made them out of consonants. Then we rolled them on the floor to see what words we could come up with. This one right here has consonants on it, this one right here has consonants on it, and this one right here has vowels on it. You're gonna throw out a consonant, and then you're gonna throw out a vowel. You toss that one since you have it in your hand already. Throw out a vowel, and then you're gonna throw out a, another consonant. Okay? Hip! Hip! You can make hip out of that. There you go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got. Uh, you have a P-Y-S. Alright, let's try. Let's try it again. Blingy. Uh, okay. Mad! Mad, okay. A D. There you go, you a nice hot toss. There you go. You can, you can have dim. Mid. Mid. Let's see. Team. Bot. Bot. <laughs> there you go, another. Like another, real bot. That's right. 
We had a ton of activities that we were able to do with these mats, whether it was the ABC Dice or the ABC Roadway. They had a lot of fun doing them. Today with the ABC Dice game with Isla, we tried to make it a little more competitive by adding the ticking clock. And I would encourage you at home to even go a little bit further. If you have two readers that are on the same level, you might be able to push that competition a little bit further and even have more fun with the game. I would have been really interested to see what free play games the girls came up with, what structures they would have built, what words they might have spelled, and how they would have used the letters on their own. And I think there are a lot of opportunities for that, particularly with this exercise. These ABC floor mats are a great way for you and your kids to get your minds and your bodies moving, so go for it. Let the games begin. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.